रूम नंबर इज सिक्स जीरो नाइन एंड सिक्स टू वन We are at the breakfast buffet at Ramayana Hotel. From fresh fruits, yogurt, cold platter, eggs of your choice. Chicken, black pepper, big beans, soybean cakes, parathas. Yellow rice and vegetable curry, and then a line counter for different types of noodles with assorted vegetables and greens. There's a waffle counter. bread croissant and there's a slice of anika honey oozing out of it overall a very filling breakfast in a relaxing ambiance Good morning. We'll give you a roundup of the rest of the Bali tour and complete this Bali trip. Keep watching. We'll give you a glimpse of the Tana Lot complex and Kintamani volcano, Bali swings, and there's a waterfall and life in Ubud. This area was a jungle until it was cleared and landscaped so beautifully. Tana Lot is an offshore temple, one of seven such temples on the sea in Bali Island. It's very popular with tourists, especially during the sunset time. People say there are holy snakes around the Tana Lot temple guarding the shrine. I met one in a cave opposite the temple. Hello. It is there. Where is this? Looks like a viper, a baby viper, but a good pet, as a priest introduced the holy snake to me. Snake protects the temple. 
Cross from here? Yeah. The original rocks had started crumbling and the temple was in danger of collapse. In 1980, Japan extended the loan and the base was restructured and reinforced with concrete but look alike rock design. The landscape all around is stunning. We have come to Tanalot early, had our lunch, fresh chili crabs, rice with some beer. Our four day stay at Ramayana Hotel Kutta has come to end. Today we are going to Kintamani to see the active volcano. So, you are Agung Raka. Agung Raka. Thank you. So in family temple we we have like a, you know uh, the pot. We are in Obud. Uh, this works at the community Main temple of the village. Pura Uche Deta. No? Quite uh, large. Left temple. Yeah. Quite large temple. We have arrived in Kintamani. This is a hotel lobby specially made for viewing the Mount Batu.
India. Terima kasih. India. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from India. Okay. I'm half Indian. Yes. Half Indonesian. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Mount Watur has been an active volcano in modern history. In 2017, the volcano started spewing lava and ash. As a result, the Bali airport had to be closed for about seven days. Since then, there has been no eruptions. Regular treks have been stopped, but jeeps go near the top to view the volcano from very close. In the nearby lake, there are four villages who survive on fishing. When did you start this, this uh, Bali swing? In this place? Yeah. Around four years ago. Because eight years back there was nothing. Yeah. It was all planned. Yeah. I had come here, so I wouldn't know. Maybe after, after COVID. After COVID it started. Yeah. Oh. Yes. So nice, you are getting good response. Sorry? The waterfall is quite scenic. You have to climb down the hill to get a closer view. You can swim in the waterfall. You can also swim in the river downstream. This waterfall has an infinite opportunity for photo ops. We are here in the afternoon. You can see how beautiful this place is. We stopped by the Suka Kopi for breakfast. Pleasantly surprised by the Balinese style sprawling cafe. The decor in Balinese complete with open spaces and beautiful furniture. Our next stop was at the wood sculpture workshop. Crocodile wood because the part of the wood looks like skin crocodile. Okay. Inside the wood get white color, natural, for the figure, Balinese romantic drama Sita, Romeo and Juliet for the Europe. And yeah, we got to local wood hibiscus. The wood becoming white and green, two color, natural, it doesn't paint it until in the back. How big is the tree? I already explained different types of wood being used by Bali artisans for making exquisite handicrafts. Hibiscus also has a red flower. Two types of hibiscus flower, yellow and red. When yellow, the flower, the wood becoming white and green. When red flower becoming white and brown. So different the color of the flower, different the wood. Balinese are in a different class when it comes to wood. Fine furniture, super class, stylized.
we checked in late evening at Alampusa Villa. Our villa has a pool and a poolside bed also. Next morning, I am out for a walk around the village. Aditya, you are Aditya? Yes. Yeah. Tell me, you are in college? You are studying in college or yes. school? Enjoy, yeah. yeah. Thank you. The morning store. And here, a van store also. I've come to the village temple. Pura? Dalam. Dalam. Dalam means? Uh, uh, the... Like inside. Inside the village. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay I will continue. Ah, please, please. People cleaning the place for a series of ceremonies. Called Galungan, it is a ceremony also, kind of ceremony, which is becoming one in 210 days. So, in India, people celebrating about Diwali. Yes. So, this is kind of Diwali. Diwali. Major festival. It is ancestral ceremony celebration. It will be held the next week in one Wednesday. 28th. Yes, the 28th. 28th. Yes. Yeah. So, actually, Today is the beginning celebration of that. So okay. Not just tomorrow, but you know, uh, there are two different level of the ceremony that we doing for this uh, Galungan ceremony. Today is actually cleansing uh, ritual for the earth, earth, okay. and then tomorrow for the human being. You live in this village. Yeah, I'm living. Yeah. All of these people are living in this village. Living from this. Yeah. So this is we doing back to clean here. So only when we will be. When there will be a ceremony or ritual to cleanse the area. So this is the village temple? Yeah, this is the village temple. This is Shiva God village temple. Huh? Shiva, Shiva, yeah, Shiva, for the Shiva temple. Temple yeah. for the dead, yeah? Yeah. Every village has minimum three temples. So this is one of our three temples. Oh. Yeah. And where are the other two? Other three is uh, like one and a half kilometers from here. Okay. Yeah, so that is uh, for the dedicate of the three supreme god, three Marti. Trimurti, Brahma, that is Trimurti. Yeah, here is Shiva and there for dedicate of Brahma and Vishnu. Sorry. Brahma, Vishnu and again and Shiva. Shiva. Yeah. Balini said we also have one, one God. God. Yeah, yeah. What was that? Can you just... The one supreme God we call it uh, Sangyang Vidhi, which is, for example, Muslim, they call Allah. But for Hindu, we call Sangyang Vidhi. Shiva is because of uh, God of the dead. Vishnu when the God preserved and Brahma when the God created. Creator. So one Supreme God is only Sangyang Vidhi. A Supreme God is above this? Yeah, above this tree. Okay. This tree God in unity, it's only Sangyang Vidhi. Okay, so when they are joined together, yeah, they, they are Sangyang Vidhi. Sangyang Vidhi. That is why Hindu is accepted by the religion. Because yeah. the, uh, we can uh, telling our concept, we not actually have many gods, but mm. we have we have believed it also in one God. Yeah. That is how okay. it was the controversy yeah. was solved. No? Yeah, exactly. A, B? K, E. Huh. D, E, K. Kadek. Yeah. Kadek is. Basically, I am uh, in Bali, you know that uh, Wayan, yeah? 
Made or Tadek, no man in tut. You are the second? No, I'm not the second. The second Tadek because the number five back to Wayan. Okay. <laughs> so I'm the second Tadek in my family. Okay, so you are the sixth child? Yeah, sixth child. Okay. So, so we are a big family. Yeah, yeah, big family. <laughs> I know my dad because I last time I had uh, mm -hmm. known one mother. Oh, one mother. Today we have come to the Indian restaurant in Ubuk Center, Bollywood Club. Hello. You are from Delhi? Delhi, Himachal Pradesh. Himachal. Which place? Hamipur district. I am talking to the chef of this restaurant. Yes, sir. Bollywood. Vikram, Chef Vikram Singh. Yeah. How long you are here? Three, four years. Four years. Four years. Before that, how do you like this place? Good place. Good place. And good business? Good business. Hello. You are from Hi. India? Yes. Okay. Hello. Hi. So, your first time? Yeah, Bali? this is the first time. Yeah. Uh, this is after marriage or? Yeah, after marriage. It's yes. a honeymoon trip. Honeymoon, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, how do you find the place? Google. We started on Google. Google? Google. Yes. Bali? Yes. In the center of Ubud, this newly opened building houses a number of street vendors. You can bargain and buy souvenirs here. Start with a 50% cut and then assess and keep bargaining. Going to the airport, take the return flight. The temples are bedecked with flowers and penjors. Today's ceremony is a series of festivities preceding the Galungan and Kuningan ceremonies. Bali will be on a part holiday during this next two weeks. Schools also close during this time. In sharp contrast, the Balinese celebrate their New Year Naipi in total silence and total dark. How do you celebrate? It is a silent day. No cars will run. Yeah, no people, no run, no fire, no, no airport. transportation. Airport Nothing. is closed on that day. Yes, airport is closed. Airport is closed. No one can go anywhere. No game, no TV, no internet. Everything is closed. No light. No internet. Internet also closed. Before was closed, but now maybe yeah, still on. Before was closed. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you go to the okay. temple on that day? No. No, go to the temple. Uh, we don't go 
you don't go anywhere. Just at home. No sound, no light, no fire, no cooking, no planes, no taxis, no phones. A day is spent in total silence. Families stay home. There is no movement. On this day, Bali transports to a different world. We have arrived at the airport. Going back with fond memories, once again, this was my actual fourth trip to Bali. So I am enriched by the latest experience. If you are planning to visit Bali, I will give you some tips. Balinese people are very friendly, soft-spoken and polite. Respect their values and religious norms. Shots are not allowed in temple premises. Exchange 100 US dollars to carry Indonesian rupiah because small shops accept only cash. You will need them. Always follow the scheduled time as general commuting time in Bali, especially by car, is more due to traffic. Even in dry season, there are short spells of rain. Bali is exceptionally clean. Please avoid littering. These are tips on how to save money. Youngsters can do it very easily. Book tickets early for the best price. Choose a homestay over hotel. It will save you 60%. Eat at a local restaurant and street food. That will also give you a benefit of about 50%. Hire a bike or bicycle for getting around. That will also save you 60%. For the senior travelers, book tickets early buy travel health insurance, pay Bali tax online before arrival, book a tour package for easy travel. It will save you hassles. Please carry your medicines and the doctor's prescription if you have. The visa on arrival fees is US $35 and queue time is 40 minutes. It is better to get e-visa before coming. It will save you time. Bali has a lot of food options. Vegetarian food, plenty. Indian restaurants in every town. Thank you for watching my vlogs. I hope the Bali series has been liked by all of you. From here I have some unfinished vlogs on England, London and Cheltenham which I would like to complete and present. Thank you so much.